What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this Galarian Rapidash team. And guys, it is the new season, season 7, so we're going to be trying to get started off on a good note. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. And guys, I know a big chunk of you guys who are watching this are not subscribed. Like, what are you doing? I'm already in your feed. Put me on your subscriber list and help support the channel just by tapping that little red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. But like I said, new season, season 7. I do not know too, too much about the new season. Like, I don't know if anything changed, any new Pokemon are allowed. So if you guys do know, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to know and get you guys feedback. But rocking out on the scene, we got Galarian Rapidash right here with that Pastel Veil ability, which means none of our Pokemon, when this Pokemon is out on the field, can get poison. Also, it heals ally Pokemon from poison, so that is very, very well. Has an extra belt as its item. Play rough, Psycho Cut, High Horse Power for coverage, and Sword Stance to set up. Normal Dragapult over here with Life Orb, Heavy Hitting, and Speedy Boy with Dragon Darts, Phantom Force, Fly and Protect. We got Halucha over here. I absolutely love Halucha. Halucha is such a strong Pokemon, and it is very, very quick. It has that White Herb with Close Combat, Acrobat, Sword Stance, and Protect. Our support mod for this team is going to be Clefairy. Follow me, Helping Hand, after you protect. No attacking moves, just purely support with that Evo Light. You guys already know how that thing works out. We got Darmantan, nice speedy hard hitting Ice Pokemon with Icicle Crash, Flare Blitz, Iron Head, and Rock Slide. I really do like this moveset on it, considering there's a lot of coverage to it. So you can send him out there, be able to do a lot of different things. It's also holding that Choice Band, so we gotta make a nice decision on what move to actually choice. And then in the final spot, we got our boy Rotom. Rotom Wash over here with that Wiki Berry, Hydro Pump, T-Bolt, Dark Pulse, and Protect for its moveset. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. And please, 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 if you guys do know any changes in Season 7, let me know in the comment section down below. But without further ado, let's hop on to that rank ladder and try to get this new season started off strong. First battle for the new season, your boy is hype. We're going up against a Sandstorm team with Corviknight, Ndidi, Rotom, and Dragapult as well. But who are we going to go into? Who should we get this started with? Um, I kind of want to go follow me early on. I kind of do, but the Sandstorm's just so scary. It's so it's such a pain, and you guys already know that the Sandstorm is a big old pain. Um, I think I'm gonna try to set up Sword Sands with the Rapidash and go Clefairy. Right? He has no Stalwart. I mean, Rapidash should be able to one tap that T Tar, be able to do some work onto that Exit Drill. I think it's fine. I think that's good. Um, who should we go into as well? I think uh Darmanitan. I should come up clutch here. Darmanitan with that choice ban. And then in the final spot, either Halucha or Dragapult. Halucha or Dragapult. Uh, Halucha has close combat and acrobat. Plus it's very speedy, but I feel like uh Dragapult just comes in here and doesn't work. Like Dragapult's a call. Get Dragon pulled up in here. Let's get it, baby. Let's get this. Battle number one coming at you guys. Guys, if you want to catch more content from me, you guys already know the last taste of all the videos. Head in that link in the description below. Genius25 on Twitch. Come hang out with me. We stream four plus days every single week doing Animal Crossing content. It is now shark season, so if you want to see me catch sharks, head down there. And we do Pokemon ranked battles content. You guys already know the deal. Okay. Let's roll here. Let's roll here. He goes Rotom E Extra Drill. Rotom E Extra Drill. And he's probably going to swap him for the Sandstorm, uh, which is totally fine by me. I think I set up a Sword Dance here and goes for a follow me. He can go for a Steel Spike, take me out. Um, hmm. Go follow me. He's definitely gonna go into the Sandstorm, and I'm just gonna Sword Dance up here. And I am just going to Sword Dance up. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, Rapid Dash is rather fast, but I don't think he's faster than the Sandstorm. A uh, Sandstorm, what should we call it? Extra go. I do not. Look at my G Field Day. Got Dub Mel Mix. So refreshing. So refreshing. We've been absolutely loving this flavor. I would love to get sponsored by these guys, but I feel like I don't have enough subs to do it yet. I like sent in a little like request form, I guess. Not like a request form. Yeah, I guess. Well, I don't even know. A sponsorship form. But they, I, they didn't even see it. I was at like 60 subs at the time. <laughs> so hopefully, when I get up more in subs, I'll send another one and see what they say. But Iron Head comes out here. We should be able to eat that one up fine. Yep. Thank you, little friend guard. We know that thing outspeeds. We know we're faster than Volt Switch comes out here. And he's going to swap it to Tar. And you really pick up the KO? I didn't think that was going to pick up the KO. But it does. It does indeed. Over time goes back. And Sandstorm Mon is probably going to come in. Okay, that's fair. That is fair. That is so fair. But definitely Dynamax and the Rapid Dash. Oh, Indeedy comes in. Holy wee. Indeedy does come in. So, follow me is probably going to take place. Indeed doobly. Indeed doobly. Comes in. Uh, do we go Pulse again? 
or Darmanthian. I mean, Darmanthian, we're gonna have to choice ban a move. I say we just go uh, Dragapult here. And do I Dynamax Dragapult instead? And throw him a big curveball and start Max Lorm winning? Lower that thing's attack? That could be big. It could be big. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get on here. Go high horsepower as well. I think I'd rather go for a minute. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this because eventually he's gonna start prioritizing that Rapidash, which is gonna be a pain. So if I can lower that thing's attack and have Dragapult still here, just fine doing some work, lowering attack, all that good stuff, we should be chilling. We should be just fine, but we have a high horsepower going over to that extra drill. I know we outspeed that extra drill. Well, right now, it's not insane. Because it's gotta be a sand rush extra drill. Right? That's gotta be 100%. Gotta be fact. Let's see what happens here. Follow me. Yep. Follow me comes out here. He's probably gonna go for an Iron Head. Probably going to take out my, uh, my Rapid Dash, but I hope it does or is able to eat up a shot here. One more comes out here. Can we take this thing out one shot? Nope. But we do get the attack lower. That would have been amazing if we, were, if we were able to take the thing out. Lower that attack of that and the extra, which is huge. I know we have some big old speed going on here. And then High Horsepower is going to come in here and clean up that NDD. See you later, NDD. Yo, so NDD gone. Get it gone, kid. Get gone, kid. And then Iron Head's popping out. Hopefully he misses. Now he connects. Eat that up. Eat that up, Rapid Dash. Oh, even when it's minus one. Even when it's minus one. I thought we had it. That is exactly why I didn't die next time. Now, now we go Darumancho. Daru Mancho is a wonderful pick. And I think he's going to Dynamax at Titar. We're going to have to start trying to minus some attack here. And then do I go into a... Like, what move am I going to choice band into? It's going to be a close first battle for Battle. Hmm. 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 I love using fun themes. Oh, Corbinite. Oh, dear Corbinite. This thing has Psychic Seeds. Oh, my God. If I would have known he didn't have Titar... Oh, my God. I would have Dynamaxed that, uh... That what's it called? All day. Dynamax that thing all day. Um, but I'm gonna go into the extra drill. I feel like extra drill just poses such a bigger threat. And I could go Corviknight. Or I could go extra drill. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go Corvo. I'm gonna go Corvo here. And we're gonna choice ban into this fire move, which is awesome. Which is awesome because he has Rotom, Corviknight, and extra drill. We're all super effective against that. So, and we should have speed advantage. We should have speed advantage here. And Corviknight has special defense boost, but we're just physical attacking out here. It's going to be a close battle. I feel like this is going to come down to the wire here. Phantasm is going to bring down the defense. I think he's going to Dynamax Corvo. No lie. And then try to boost his speed up. Just to see what happens. But my Dragon Bolt should go first, which should give him the defense drop as well. And we should be uh, chilling here. We should be chilling here. Depends. It depends. Besides Dynamax Corvo, I'm telling you, going into Airstream is probably onto my Darmanitan. And then Phantasm comes out. We're going to lower defense. Get a little defense popping here. Can we take out extra on one tap? Can we take him out? Mm, sashing up. Ah, ooh, ah. Sashing up, little boy. Okay, so this thing sashes. I think we should have the speed advantage. I think it's mirror armor. We're clear bodied. Oh, I forgot about that thing. It's mirror armor. Mm, whack. Whack. Our main thing does outspeed. Flare buzz. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my lord. Oh my god, this one's going to be so close. Like, ridiculously close. This one's going to be so close. Like, oh my lord. I feel like I have to guard here. I feel like I have to guard here. Is that a fact? Do I guard here? Or do I say he guards here? You know what? I'm going to say he guards here. And I'm going to get rid of this extra though. And I'm gonna get a speed boost as well. See guard? Hopefully he guards. I was gonna I was gonna guard and then go into a dragon darts. Maybe pick up the double KO, but I don't think we were taking out the Corbinite with the Dragon Darts. Yes, he guards! Yes, he guards! Let's get it! That thing outspeeds me now, but still. We eat up, we get our speed back. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now we're sitting like it is going to be so close here. I needed that. I needed that. Uh, Corviknight is looking rather scary. He has one more turn here. Um, I could dip out. That's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm going to have to dip out here and take out somebody. With my Phantom Force. Or my Fly. Whichever one I want to do. Hmm. 
I, I, that's a fact. I have to dip here. And who, who do I go after? I mean, does that Corbinite have protect? I could just go Dart in it, but I don't think Dart's going to take it out. I mean, Phantom Force is definitely going over on this thing. Gotta take out the Corvo. Gotta take out the Corvo. Phantom Force. Uh, yeah. Uh, we just need to be able to eat up a shot from this Rotom. Till somebody comes in here. Nope. We dip that Leaf Storm. Mm. We gotta be. We gotta dodge this Leaf Storm. Get out of here. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, dude, this was such a good first battle. This was such a good first battle. Come on, clutch it, Polsky. Clutch it. I don't think we 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 need to sing the miss basically. Mm, that it's it, it was because of the rapid dash. I should have went to Halucha I think first turn. Good drop close combats with the white herb too. Would have been nice. Phantom Force comes out. Yo, dead. Corvo's dead. We're gonna take some life orb damage. We're not eating this up. We need him to miss, and then we need a one tap. Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> no! Man, first battle for the season was a good one, but we did not get the win. We're going to hop into battle number two, try to get our first win for this season. Second battle coming at you guys. This guy is Dracofish, Dragapult, Sylveon, Arcanine, Cursula, and a Lapris. And a Lapras. Um, who should I go into? I kind of want to try to set up a Swords Dance again, but I don't know who would. He doesn't have no Trick Room, so that's good. That is good. I could try to do this with Halucha, with that White Herb Halucha. Mm, could be pretty good. Could be pretty solid, and I could start getting speed boosts as well. Trying to get that going, or I could just go into uh, hmm. Darmanitan could be a solid first lead Pokemon. No lie, Darmanitan could be. I'm gonna go Clefairy Darmanitan. Clefairy Darmanitan, I'm gonna bring Halucha in the back and then pull, and then pull. I think I think pull's a safe call. Let's go pull here. Poltski, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's run it. Uh, reason I am leading Darmanitan is if he goes Dragapult or or what's it called, or what is that thing called? Or Draco Fish, I can just dump on it with an ice. An ice could crash, just choice band into that, and we can roll out. But my opinion on Galarian Rapidash is I think it's a very, very strong uh, physical attacker. I just think it gets overshadowed by the steel typing in this game. I feel like steel typing is just so prevalent in today's meta and the competitive side of the game. And look, look who they lead. Look who they lead, these two. But I think steel is just so strong in this meta. Everybody has one, and this thing just gets dumped in one turn. But who do I take out here? Who do I take out? My choice. My choice. Follow me for sure. And then we can just go into a nice little crash on whoever we want. I think we just go for the Dragon Ball. I thought it was super effective against Dra or Dragonfish. I guess his uh, water typing helps him out a good bit. I guess his water typing helps him out a solid. Uh, definitely Fish Strength going to come through. Fire Blast coming out. Ooh, wow. Whoa, whoa there, buddy. Whoa there. Well, you roll. Oh, we outspeed the Dragonfish. That is wonderful. Okay, so we can say bye-bye to pull unless it's Sash. Hopefully it's not Sash. He's dead. Bro, what you mean? <laughs> of course that thing's Sash. Of course it is. This thing's gonna go for a fish's rent. Uh, that's cool with me. You should be able to eat that, right? Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful jeans. Another follow me is gonna come out here. And I'm going to... Do I take out the pole? I'm gonna take out the pole. Actually, um... I know I go before Draco Fish. I mean, pulse is so fast. I really don't want him getting another turn. But at the same time, I did want to go here. I'm gonna go after Draco Fish. I'm gonna go after Draco Fish here. Hmm. Could that thing just go for a Dragon Dart? I'm curious. Say if the Dragon Pole goes for a Dragon Dart. Will that both go towards my Darmanitan? I think it might. I think it might. Hmm. Let's see what happens here. It goes for another Fire Blast. Miss. How do you land two Fire Blasts? How do you land two Fire Blasts is my question. That is my question. You're landing two Fire Blasts here like it's nothing. And so Crash comes out. And I miss my... Bruh. Bruh, dude. Get out of my face. We should be able to eat up this... Uh, this is random. Of course we do not. Of course, like, bro. Oh my, oh my lord! This game's trash. This game's trash. This game is straight doo doo. Hey, right, Halucha comes out here. Oh, uh, let me see how fast that Darmanitan is. First of all, I want to see if my Halucha can outspeed that Draco fish. I want to see if my Halucha can outspeed that Draco. Let's see. Okay, Mom. Go to speed. We have a very speedy team. We do have a very speedy team. Our Manitan is 161. This thing's 170. Okay, so Pult's out there. So I gotta hope my Pult actually outspeeds and takes the speed win. Um, is Acrobat's a first turn priority move? Is it? It might be. Let's see. Check, sorry, the user's not holding it. Okay, so if the user's not holding it. I think I, I, I Dynamax is in and I go into the Just start taking full control. 
Hopefully my Poltsky goes first. If my Poltsky goes first, we should be chilling here. If my Poltsky goes first, we're, we're chilling. That's what I gotta hope for. But are you kidding me? Like, that thing really... We really missed that Icicle Crash. And that thing didn't miss his Fire Blast. Like, come on, I thought Fire Blast has lower accuracy. Icicle Crash. But still, that's the way the cookie crumbles. I feel like we're still in this match for sure. Hoping my Dragon Ball goes first. And he does. Dragon Dodge comes out. And we should say get a double kill here. I'm pretty sure we should. Because we're going to do take out the Dragon Bolt here. My Halucha outspeeds the Dragon Fish. Which is just dandy. And we're going to get a shot off with that. And then we get the speed boost as well. What you want? What you what you want? What, what you want? Hey! 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 Double kill! Double kill! We're still in this. And we got the speed, baby. A good pick for me to Dynamax that thing. And now we get speed. I still have my White Herb as well. Well, so if you want to lower my stats, that's, that's cool by me, sweetheart. That's cool by me. But this team is very fast. That's what I love about it. You got that Dark Manitan. You got the Halucha. You got the Rapidash, who is very fast as well. Who I don't think people know how fast I think. It's like, it's faster than this Halucha. We got the Dragon Bolt, who's very, very speedy. We got the Follow Me Support Mon. And then we just got Rotom. That's like a back end mod. 130 speed, but still, it's not bad. That's not bad, but very fast team here. Trick Room does overrule it a lot. Like, Trick Room just dumps on it easily. But let's go. It comes down to a 2v2 situation. I wonder who he, who else he brought. Who else did you brought or bring, sir? Sir or lady? I don't know who it is. I don't know who it is. It goes to that priest. Probably gonna uh, Dynamax Lapras. Lapras is kind of scary here. No lie. And then Sylveon. Mm. Bruh. Two mods that I don't, I don't, I don't like. Not even close. I'm gonna have to do that to the Sylveon. And I think I gotta knuckle up. I gotta knuckle up here. Definitely Dynamax and Lapras. We might go 0 2 right here. Might go 0 2. Definitely got speed. Um, This is so tough. Are you Dynamax and Sylveon? Go in Love Ball. Go in Love Ball. I mean, I kind of hope you're Dynamax and Sylveon. I hope it's Lapras. It is Lapras. I was going to say, you're really not going to Dynamax that Lapras? That Lapras just dumps on so easily, man. So easily. But I can Phantom Force and potentially dodge an attack here. See what happens here. Phantom Force. Uh, you and we're going to get that attack boost for that uh, Dragon Pole as well. So hopefully we can take out maybe Sylveon in one, turn, one tap next turn. And hopefully his resonance is going over onto my Dragon Pole side. Let's go. Max Knuckle comes through. That thing eats up like crazy. Probably weakness policy triggered. Then get that attack boost as well. But a close combat should be able to take out that Lapras. No problem. So if he goes for a resonance, we should be good. Or a resonance over onto that Dragon Pole side. Every voice comes out here. You dodge it. We should be able to eat, eat this one up from you. Yep, and show me the resonance onto the other side. Please, sir, please. Please, sir. Oh my god, we lost because of the game stinks. <laughs> Dang, dude, I went two. I went two. This team, like like I said, it's a fun mess around team. It's just it's just tough to play with, I feel like. It's just tough to play with. Very cool team though. Very cool team. He gets the Aurora Belt, and we are definitely going to lose this one, hands down. Uh, we might be able to take out the Sylveon in one shot, but either way, the rest of the going to come through and clean this up. GG. GG. G to the G to the double G. All right, I got to get a win. I got to get a win, though. Third and final battle's got to get me, me a win. Starting off the the, the, sec the, the, the the new season, a little rough. A little rough, but, you know, that happens. That happens. But I more so like to play with teams that... uh. I know, well not that I know, that I don't know how to play with or that are not meta. I show off new teams, new different teams that you guys don't really see. So I still hope you guys do enjoy the content and smash that like button if you guys do. You guys are no deal. You guys are no deal. But, fun. Like, make a move. Go Hyper Voice into Resonance. It is pretty simple. I don't know what you're doing. Just kill me already. <laughs> Lapras guards <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> Still got KOs. Will we KO the Sylveon? Uh, that was like the only way we're, we're winning. But our Phantom Force comes out. We don't even pick up the KO on that thing. Rough news. Rough news. And Hyper Voice comes out. Yeet. Bye, Poltsky. Bye, Poltsky. GG. Oh, and two. Ah! <laughs> ah! Man. All right. But going into third battle, I promise you guys, I'm promising you guys a win in this third battle. Third and final battle going up against a Trick Room team. These are so tough to play up against the team that we have, considering we are so fast. But I promise you guys win, so we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. Who is he going to lead? Uh, definitely either Hatterene or Bronzong to get the Trick Room rolling. And DD probably with that as well. So, hmm. 
Hmm, do I go? I think I might go Rapid Dash. Just get Rapid Dash, get two heavy attackers right off the rip. And try to do some big old damage. Some big damage on this thing. Oh, let's go Halucha. Let's go Halucha, get rolling with that. Um, do we go Dragapult in the back? I'm gonna go Rotom definitely. It's a rather slower Mon. And Dragapult. Let's go Dragapult. Yeah, that Trick Room is going to be such a pain. That that is what I wish this this team had. Something to counter a Trick Room. Like either a uh, imprisoned Chandelure or someone who is using Trick Room so I can go in there and use it and counteract one. But third and final battle. Come on, Jeans. You got this. You got this. We're 0-2. Looking for our first win for the new season. I'm hoping to get it. I'm hoping to get it right here, right now. Well, I'm not hoping. I am going to get it because I promise you guys. I promise you guys. He goes Hatterene and DD. Okay, Trick Room. Easy setup for him. All day. All day. Um, hmm. Alright, so Rapid Dash, Halucha comes out. Rapid Dash and Halucha. I think uh, Rapid Dash is faster by one speed. So Rapid Dash should go first here. Psychic Surge coming out. So no fake outs, no first turn priority moves here. So Rapid Dash should be faster by one stage. And I could just go for a Play Rough. I think Play Rough is probably your call. Uh, if he doesn't go for Follow Me, I'm just going to go into that. And then do I close Combat up? Yeah, just go Acrobats. Acrobatics. La da da da. Alright, let's roll it. Let's run it. Acrobats, da -da -da -da. and probably follow me if I had to guess. Unless he's gonna go for something crazy, which he actually might, cause he didn't make a move yet. Usually, the, you they already know what they're doing. You know, withdrawal has to move. This is totally fine by me. He's gonna go into whom? Wrong Zong. Hello there. So you roll, kid. No way you read this. That's pretty. That's pretty intense reads there. Oop. Alright, so we really do nothing in that turn. He's gonna go for a reflect. Okay, so we set up screens. Set up screens, my dude. Some big old screens. Okay. Um, can't really do much here. I mean, high horsepower cannot hit that thing. I'm just gonna go for a play rough over on you. And then I can just go for a close combat over on you. If I can land it. I don't think we're gonna take out if that happens. But we do have a white herb, so after that happens, then we can uh, take back our thing. Play rough comes through. You Not do too, too much damage because the reflect is up. Close combat comes out. You do a decent amount. Like, Reflect is just helping him out so much. And I think he's going to get tr get off Trick Room, no problem. White Herb's going to balance out that defense drops. And big, we get that back. And dude, this dude's just playing with us fully right now. Screens are up. Trick Room's going to be rolling. He's going to take speed advantage as well. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Look. All right. So, uh, we got to waste out Trick Room here. Definitely Protect coming out from the Halucha. Right? What do I do? I want to go for room. I guess I'll go for another player off here. I'm gonna protect the Lucha. And going to protect them. We just gotta start wasting out these turns. Protect comes out. Protect, baby. And I'm gonna withdraw that, uh. That, what's it called? Get that block line. That's lovely. And heal pulse comes through. That's smart. We just gotta waste out these chicken turns. Probably gonna put me to sleep now. Probably, if I had to, if I had to think. It. If, I mean, if something's gonna happen, he's probably gonna uh, try to put me to sleep again. Keep wasting these turns. Uh, do I swap Rapid Dash? Hmm. Get the wiki berry. The wiki wiki berry. Hmm. Hmm. Do I even swap or do I try to set up a sword stand? Because you know he's going to go at. You know who he's going after. That's a fact. You know who he's going after. Then just go for the acrobats over on Well, hypnosis miss! There it is. Bruh, of course he lands it. Of course he lands it, and I'll get the sword stand set up. I wish Pastel Bell uh, was for sleep, it's not poison. That'd be so much better. Heal Pulse comes through. Go ahead, heal up with Monty on next KOS. He's already kind of like full health. I don't think this thing has an attacking move. I think it has follow me, both screens, and heal Pulse. Sword Stance comes out. We're setting up. What did Dynamax to say? He's gonna put me to sleep this turn. Like, I know that's a fact. I know that's a fact. We're just wasting out Dynamax here, which is huge for us. I'll go into another play rough over onto this NDD. Um, and then, I mean, if we do pop off, I'm going to try to get a sword stance off on this Haluja. It's a long drawn out battle. He might swap here. I think he is going to swap the Bronzong. Yep. Bronzong. Ooh, indeedy. Gets a swap. Hatterene's probably coming in. For the Dynamax. Yep. Hatterene comes in here. And Hypnosis is going to come out again. Miss! How you landed all these Hypnosis? What you mean? What you mean? Whoa. I don't know. How is this one going to work out? Wake up. Wake up, Haluja. I need Haluja to wake up. Which is fast sleep. Okay, so he's gonna dynamax that thing. Uh, the weirdness is spirit. I'm hoping we get this win. We might have to go 0 and 3 in the first three battles of the new season. That'd be tough news. Be tough news. 
I guess play rough if we can land it. And then, uh, I guess to protect. I guess we will protect here, because you know the Dazzling Gleam or the Max Star Fall is going to come out here. Alucha wakes up. We get the protect off. Awesome. Awesome. Protect him, baby. Dazzling Gleam comes off. Block. And I need, I need Rapid Dash to wake up here. Like, if you land another Hypnosis here, like, I'm calling some bogus on this guy. Iron Knight comes out. Oh, and she's taking out my Rapid here. Rapid Dash goes down. How many turns are left in this Trick Room? This is a real question. It's a real question. Okay, so Trick Room over with. Do we have any mod to just absolutely tear up on it? Hmm. I think Pult's our call. I think Pult is our call. We got a Dynamax. We got to get rolling here. We got we to make something happen. Someone's rolling a Trick Room, and I wonder who it is, because they both probably have Trick Room. They both probably have Trick Room. You might just try to put me to sleep. We're going to go for a Max Phantasm over onto you. Try to take you out, and then do I Coast Combat, or do I? I'm going to Swords Dance. I am going to Swords Dance. I'm going for this. Watch. The what's it called? It's going for the Trick Room, the Hatterene. So tough. I think Hatterene's just going to go for a Gleam. Let's see what happens here. Oh, my lord. It's coming down. It is coming down to the wire. He has the reflex up, that's what stinks, and nothing must have been holding light clay. I think the turns would have been over by now. Yeah, the turns definitely would have been over. It's definitely light clay all up. So this bronze house probably you know, getting up with another trick room, which is scary. Which is rather scary. So who's who's playing trick room now? It's the real question. Sword Sands comes out. Yo, yo. Why is that thing out speeding the pole? What's going on here? What's going on here? And Phantasm comes out here. Can we KO? Can we KO? Show me the KO. <laughs> Bruh. On like mucho uno. We lower defense stats. Try to first turn priority move. Get, get the thing out of the way. And Dazzling Gleam's probably gonna come out into the trick room right. Yeah, Gleam. Just takes out my Halucha. Dude, this team! I can't I can't win with this team. I don't think I'm gonna be able to win with this team. It's so tough in the meta. Trick room gets out. Bruh. Bruh! Rough start to the new season, guys. I broke the promise. It's okay. I'll make up for it. I'll make up for it in the next video. I'll make up for it in the next video. But, dude, this team was definitely fun to play. I feel like it has such a high learning curve. And I feel like it's uh, it's missing a few key uh, components. Because it gets ran on by tons of different things. It really does. And this match is 100% over. He's going to Dynamax. And uh, he's going to take me out. So, I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run it. I'm going to keep both these mods live. I'm going to say GG. I'm going to say GG to this guy. We got 0-3 to start the season. Bruh. Bruh. Bro, but it's okay. You guys can see the jeans struggle. <laughs> Rough start to the new season, but it's okay. This team looks awesome on paper. Just like by looking at it, the team looks awesome. But once you start playing it, you start realizing it, it is missing key components. And it's actually not that good of a team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Even though we didn't win any matches, but we still got to show off some cool Pokemon. Have some fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.